referee. Yeah. It's allowed, though. Well, they started off from the beginning. It's good to see teams coming in locked in from the beginning. Antoine Davis starts with the basketball here. 60 away from the Detroit Mercy all-time scoring record. Rashawn Phillips watching in the wings, I'm sure. A catch all the way home. The foul was on the floor around the free throw line. Catch would like to have that one at the free throw line. Uh, they're starting the game off in a zone defense, uh, a 2-3 zone, and you know, sometimes that's get Detroit a little bit of problems. It seems like with the good shooters they got, it shouldn't give them a problem, but they're always a little rattled until they figure it out. The zone is something that Detroit Mercy has started to see trickle back in their defensive mindset as well. Might see it again here today. Quite a bit of it against Western Michigan as they tune up for conference play. A catch, a hook into the hands of Henderson. Notice in that zone, it's a box and one. Antoine Walker guard him out of the zone, so they, they actually have a box and one. Davis, Harvey, Katz, Johnson, Isiani for the Titans. Besaith, Miller, Henderson, Healy, and Lopez for Central Michigan. Lopez looked pretty good in his last couple of games against two Horizon League foes. It falls through the hands of Henderson, and a catch will take it away. It's a good sign for the Titans to start off with that defensive pressure, something that we saw against Western Michigan early in the game. Harvey down low, draws some space for the easy two. And that's what the Titans are going to have to do. Good ball movement that time, good cut. Move that ball around and get quality shots against that zone defense. Kevin Miller again getting the start at point guard. It's been him in that role more often than not, especially the last three games with Jermaine Jackson out with the flu. That'll be Detroit Mercy Titan returning to Callahan Hall. Hit his freshman year here, did Jermaine. Isiani back off for Johnson. Bingo. Great ball movement that time. Isiani giving up a layup. <laughs> get a wide open Matt. And the, Matt Johnson in the corner and knocked that down. Shooting 40% from three in the early goings. And they need him to do exactly that. It's a team that they feel pretty full of shooters this year. Trying to get rolling as a group, though. They got guys that can put the ball in the basket. There's no, no question about that. I, like the activity on his zone defense thus far. There's Bassain who cracks the scoring column first for Central Michigan. He averages nine a game. Especially good from two. 60% thus far. Here's a catch. Disrupted down low by Bassain. He also does a nice job on defense. His length helps him out. Well, he's definitely a two-way player. He'll look to block shots. He's a good shot blocker. He'll play around the basket. Henderson. Spotted down low, swimming inside off the back of the iron. Good job that time defensively on the low block. Davis with the crossover. Great pass for Johnson. Looks to draw the contact. He got it, no call, as Lopez stripped it away. Mike Davis hoping for that foul call, I think, as they will cough it up and give it right back to Detroit Mercy. Davis is not looking to take many shots here early in the ball game. You see he's looking at his penetration to get into the basket, looking to find his teammates. Last two down, times down the floor, he looked to pass the ball off penetration. 3 nothing. the turnover battle in favor of Central Michigan here early on. That's been a problem for them this year. They're minus four. What's going to happen when you have all these new faces, some young pieces, like that guy guarding the veteran Davis? Getting some critical minutes. Well, it's a boxing one. He's chasing them all over the floor. The double team will come every time he touched the basketball. So you can see early in this game, they got a game plan against Antoine Davis. And more often than not, teams do, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's an easy red circle five times over. Well, Walker's got the job of chasing. I mean, he's chasing him everywhere he goes. And now they switch it over to just a regular 2-3 zone. Davis for three off the inside. Good job by Hodgson to rough, rough it right there from Willie Isiani. He's just checking in over the other side. Teeing up a three is Healy. Lopez will rebound. Down five to two. Launches and hits it. Doing a good job and patience that time with the basketball, moving around, finding that open shot. So Detroit Mercy sticking with the original group thus far. Johnson, Davis, Harvey, Isiani, and I catch. Here's Harvey. Trying to heal up 100% after that ankle. East Sun duel at Callahan Hall. 
Detroit Mercy two of seven from the field thus far. And Isihani just beats the buzzer there. Tell you what, it's great dish that time by Matt Johnson getting all the way to the basket and finding Woolley right underneath for an easy layup. Titans with four of their seven in the paint thus far. Ely off the inside. He's missed two. Into the game is Taylor as he slings it off for Miller. Little runner, yes, that's a pretty looking shot from two. Once again, that score comes off an offensive rebound. It's the second offensive rebound uh, Central's gotten it. Benefited off of a catch back to Harvey wide open and he can do that Harvey's off to somewhat of a slow start this season But he's a guy that's very much capable of having some good games and uh, you can see him getting a little bit more relaxed each and every game You don't start 29 of 29 games you play in at Notre Dame by accidents That's what he did back in 18 19 and there's definitely something in that body that can do well for you, certainly at the mid-major level. No question about it. Here's Isiani. Davis huddled tightly there, leaving openings on the other side. Here's our catch with 10 to shoot still and draws a foul. Well, I'll tell you what, I like the ball movement the Titans have right now. Everybody's touching the basketball. Good move at that time. They worked it inside to a catch around the basket where he's really effective at. Right here, you can see the interior passing. Getting it inside, and that's what you have to do against the zone. Went up, slapping right across his arm. Easy call for the officials. Madute, 18 points in that game versus Western Michigan. It's his fourth double double of his career and of the season. <laughs> He's yeah. one of those guys that kind of resurrecting his stats here at Detroit Mercy. He's a guy that's been making noise early in this season. Uh, he's been pretty consistent in what he's doing every day. He's a hard worker. I've been to some practices, and I always he's always the last guy to leave the court. Noah Waterman is in now for the Titans. Waterman, Harvey, Davis, Akech, Johnson. It's Besaith, Healy, Miller, Henderson, and Jackson here for CMU. It's a familiar face in the building. Uh, Jermaine Jackson, Jr. had a really good freshman season here. His three-point percentage is up this year, around 40%. It's about 35 career, so that's significant. Central missing another shot here. And another CMU foul. It'll already be their fourth. The Titans have yet to commit one as McAdoo charges in here for Johnson. Johnson with some solid minutes at the beginning of the game. Moving the ball around, good passing, knocking down his shot. Titans already with four assists and no turnovers. There's a turnover as Miller slaps it off to Henderson for the jam. Going to pass one in to Noah that time. Not strong with the basketball, and Central was able to get to that one and knock it away. Antoine Davis is yet to crack the scoring column. Looking for a dime there, you bet. That's the guy waiting on Waterman to get that, that jump shot going. And, I, and as the season goes on, he's going to get better and better each game. Got a couple practices under his belt. That really helped him this week. Look for him to shoot the ball a lot better today. And just four of 19 from three. But that's a guy who shot 50% from the long line last year. Well, you know he's capable. Healy. Nothing but air there, got it back. Surveys Jackson, not quite, and Harvey got knocked in the tooth. But 12.55 to play in the first. Titans got to do a better job on those offensive boards, though. He can't keep forward to get these guys the extra shots. Right here on the replay, you see the ball come off. Took a hard lick that time, right on the side of the face. Well, the aforementioned Jordan Phillips makes his Titan debut now. 6'7", 215 pounds senior out of Fort Worth, Texas. Last attended UT Arlington. Another shooting option, athletic. And the Titans have two turnovers in a row now. Yeah, Antoine's in attack mode right now. We haven't seen him pull up and take any shots. He's doing everything he can to get to the basket and try to break that zone down. Pass a little off to McAdoo that time.
So Miller will continue to run the point here. Healy trying to log jam it out to him as it ends up on the scorer's table. That could do right in the passing lane that time. Got a hand on it. Wasn't able to control it. We talked about Miller in our pregame. He's done a good job with some pieces out. Kind of settling down the point guard position. Shot clock down to three. Off for Lopez. Takes it strong and gets the roll. Lopez is a guy capable of having a huge game. Uh, Youngstown State put up 26 points down there. The shooting from the outside. Good athlete. Guy they're going to have to pay close attention to because he's capable. And a lot of these guys on Central are averaging right around the same thing. They're right around seven, eight points a game. And, you know, before uh, Jermaine Jackson went out, he was the lead scorer at 11 points. Now rims off for Harvey. Good start for Lopez as well on the defensive side. Three rebounds and a block. Good ball movement here. Looking to tee up McAdoo, and Lopez ends up with number four there. Besaith looks like he traveled. So got all your shopping done, or last minute status? guy. I'm a last minute guy. <laughs> I got some stuff to do next week. All right. Harvey Phillips, McAdoo, Waterman, and Davis on the floor out of this timeout here. Detroit Mercy with a one-point lead. Looking for Waterman and taken away by Brian Taylor. Davis needs to be careful here with two fouls early in this ball game. Only one attempt and two personal fouls off to a slow start here. It's Besaint, Miller, and Lopez as Jermaine Jackson buries a three. Well, we know he's very much capable of doing that. You know, uh, a good job. He's always been able to shoot the three ball. Got to know where he's at all the time on the floor. Waterman has hit one three today off a nice pass from that man. He takes one this time and bricks it to Lopez. Oscar slows it down, gets it right back. Knocks it through. 30% three point shooter so far this year. Now seven for 21. Central Michigan is finding the, the range. Davis bullies his way in. Off for Phillips. His first shot is a miss. Now Waterman again. Got it. Big shot for Waterman. It's the slow Chippewas down right now because they're feeling real comfortable offensively. Waterman two for two from three. Lopez thought about it against McAdoo here. Buries his way in. A nice scooping rebound there by Harvey. Well, Harvey's doing a good job cleaning those boards up, and that's what they got to do. They got to make them one and done. Davis doubled in the corner there. Titans got lucky that one didn't get picked off once again. Waterman looking to get hot. Phillips got a tip and gets it back as he's pushed on the baseline there. Seeing Troy's not really having a having a flow offensively right here. See the replay. Good drive by Phillips. Nowhere really to go with that. Was shoved out of bounds though, so Detroit will get that ball back. Phillips will check out. He's been practicing with the team, but you know, game action is a different thing, so I'm sure it'll be short spurts for him so far today. I'm sure his nerves are not quite there yet. Either his first game. Been waiting for that call to become eligible. Johnson got a friendly roll there. He has five. Matt doing a good job. And Detroit's looking to attack early in this game. Isiani back into the ball game as well. Healy from deep sticks it. That's well, one thing Central Michigan can do. They can shoot the, shoot the three ball. They're great shooters from the outside. Detroit's got to make sure that they're getting the hand up. Last week they did a good job with Western Michigan being in people's faces. They're going to have to do the same thing here this afternoon. Davis just going to jack up and take it to Miriam. He took his time trying to get people involved. I think it's time for him to go to work now. He's looking for a shot. 
Just his third shot in the first 10 minutes. Jermaine Jackson looking to get a piece as well. And Besaith got that elbow up on a push against Isiani. And that already, Earl, the sixth team foul on the Chippewa is just two on Detroit Mercy. Well, they came out aggressively. There's no question about that. And when you roll aggressive like that, you can pick fouls up early. But this can be good for Detroit, you know, with almost nine minutes here left in the half and they in the penalty already. Check that. That is their seventh. They put the foul on the Detroit Mercy side at first, so it's seven to one. As Harvey makes his way back in. Good start for Harvey so far. Five points, five rebounds, an assist, and a steal. I like the way he's cleaning those boards up. Uh, he's doing a good job of getting in there and rebounding on both ends of the floor. He's done that in a couple games as Central nearly loses the basketball. Tony Barbie with an unhappy look on his face as that happened right in front of him. That's Bane Jackson did a good job of leaping in the air, saving that. Six foot tall, 175 pound guard out of Macomb, Dakota. They had some good teams when he was around. And they should not count it, I don't believe. They will count it. Yeah, it's a, it's a N1 getting to the basket that time, and uh, Super Bowls are doing a good job offensively. A catch back in for Matt Cadu, Mike Davis subbing fairly freely here. Well, that's the weird part of this game for both of these two teams because the Christmas holiday is looming and the conference is looming, but there's about 10 days off for both squads in between. So I'm sure some of them could use a break in a sense, but you also don't want to lose that role as you're heading in. No, no question. I mean, you, you use the time to practice to tighten some things up and get some guys well after playing a tough preseason schedule, but you got to make sure you're in there and keeping your rhythm going. Davis, Johnson, one more pass for a catch. And had that one tipped by Taylor. Antoine nearly got it back in a three on one developing. Lopez with the slam. 27 22. Titans got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Right now, the defense is aggressive. You can see they're picking them up as soon as they come across the half court line. Three steals for CMU already, and another block. That one by Brian Taylor. A Detroit native went to Edison, won a state championship there. No, oh, he wants to play well back in front of his family and friends here in Detroit. There he is from the free throw line. Shuttered there by a catch as the Titans look to pick it up here. Scoreless in their last two minutes. Davis off the inside, Harvey. Swooping in for another board. Antoine for three this time. Right on the line. Did a good job getting that offensive rebound. Getting an opportunity to get the shots up right now. But the Titans got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Detroit Mercy shooting 45%. Central Michigan 55% to this point. Both of these. I catch Davis, Phillips, Harvey, and Johnson out there right now for Detroit Mercy. Switching it up, and you see the double teams coming at Twan. Anything they can to keep him away from the basket. A catch, fumble, but drew the foul. Their ninth. Central foul number 10, Jackson. A catch off to somewhat of a slow start right now. Haven't had a lot of chances at the basket. Picking up a couple of fouls, able to get to the free throw line. Detroit was known last year as a good free throw shooting team, and they got a Picked it up again this year. That's the first on Jermaine Jackson. Only man with two is Henderson. It's a big part because he's the 6'11 piece. And a catch will make the front end of the one and one here. These free, these free throws can be important for them. They got to knock them down early. Here we can see the Cats with the basketball going in and smack right down over his arm right there. But he's good at putting that ball on the floor and, and his length enable him to make easy baskets around the basket. Detroit Mercy is certainly used to a catch piling up at least 10, it seems, Here's every halftime. But that's only three so far for him. Detroit's bringing their pressure, too, as well. Right now, you can see both teams are pressure at the defensive end of the court. Detroit 2-2-1 two, two, back into a zone defense. Healy pump faked. Now Miller still with 10 to shoot. 
Good ball movement for Lopez. Powers his way in. Couldn't get it to go. Harvey doing a good job challenging him that time. Davis falls down. Oh. Boy, how did that keep out? <laughs> a catch steals it away. Michigan still with 5.52 remaining. The safe called back to the floor as a catch will shoot two here. As you can see, these free throws are going to be important for Detroit. Here, uh, being in a penalty this early right now, and Detroit's got to take advantage of getting to the free throw line. A catch has both. Once again, pressure defense. 29 27 Detroit Mercy as these two teams duke it out in the first half of play. Jackson puts it back on the floor, guarded by Harvey, poked out by Johnson there. Keeping an eye on Davis right now with two personal fouls here. You don't want him to pick up that third foul early in this ball game. Lopez, desperation, Chuck. Got it in for Brian Taylor. Jermaine open off the inside as the shot clock nearly expired. Miller got it back. Pings off the inside. A catch. Ooh, is hurting, grimacing there. Finally, Detroit comes up with the rebound, giving them three looks at the basket that time. Got to limit that with the shooters that they have on. The Central Michigan team. Davis from long range. You bet. He has to figure out what kind of defense is coming to him early in ball games. He's got to figure out where he's going to get his shots from because definitely put a lot of pressure on him early in games. Antoine with nine leads all scorers. The scoring has been very balanced on both sides. 10 0 run for Detroit Mercy. 32 27. Titans here with under 10 on the shot clock again. Miller step back, not quite, and Davis is there to collect it. Antoine dancing around, short, a catch. Usually an easy two for him. The follow up won't go either, gets another. And Miller is fouled after that play was over. You know, those are shots that he easily puts down. He seems to be struggling a little bit with his, uh, with his offense here this afternoon. 0 for 3 from the field. All his points have come from the charity stripe. He's 5 of 6. And he's had some good looks. I mean, he's wide open looks around the basket. Easy shots that he's easily put down in the past. He's kind of struggled with here this afternoon. Both of these two teams subbing pretty freely. Lopez right back to the game. It's Lopez, Taylor, Jackson, Miller, and Healy right now for CMU. Open shot for Jackson, and he's missed three straight from three. Be careful with that one, because Jackson's very capable of knocking that shot down. Phillips looking for his first two as a Titan. He'll have to wait there. Good penetration, got to the basket. He did everything but finished that shot. The Saints against Harvey in a lead here for Detroit Mercy. It's not been a comfortable lead all day, though. Central Michigan has been right there. Shooting 55%. Where the chip was early on, they're now down to 42. Henderson is back in there with his two fouls. Shot clock down to two. Jackson charges. Henderson had it blocked, and it ends up in the lap of Waterman. Almost gave up another offensive board there. They got to be one and done with this team. Davis looking to heat up. Davis, it's only so long you, you can continue to hold him down, and uh, I think that's a good timeout. For Central Michigan right now. They, what they don't want to happen is for Antoine to get things going in a row, so they, they'll slow him down with this timeout. I don't think Tony Barbie was a fan of how that shot clock nearly ran out once again on them here today. Well, Jermaine Jackson, a one time Detroit Mercy product, is now with Central Michigan, his first year 
with them. Son of Jermaine Jackson, of course, Rising League Player of the Year back in 1999. LIU, his last stop for a couple of years before Mount Pleasant. And Jermaine Jackson was a great player here at Detroit. They had some wonderful seasons going to the NCAA tournament. Sean Phillips, Jermaine Jackson became a pro, played for the Pistons in Toronto and some teams in the NBA. And now uh, he's working with the Ball Brothers down there, doing a good job with that. Jermaine Jackson having a good freshman year here for Detroit and uh, kind of moved on. His father was assistant coach and he went on and uh, now in his senior year with Central. Average 10 points a game, three assists as well, and over 30 minutes a game. Didn't quite get his father's height. Father's standing at six foot five. And, <laughs> you know, he's, he's got his father's skills. There's no question. In fact, he shoots the ball a lot better. Jermaine was known as a point guard defensive player, and his son is a prolific scorer. Miller off to be safe here. Jermaine got it back. He's been cold a bit to begin this game so far today. Shot clock again down to six. Waterman made it tough. The safe got it back. And a foul on Noah, I believe, underneath the hoop. You got to do a better job of boxing out around the basket right there. They, you know, they're giving Central opportunities to get the second shot, and that's what's really hurting them offensive end of the floor. So the safe to the line to shoot a pair here. 10 of 16 on the year from the free throw line. Western Michigan, we talked about it last game. The, the Titans played last, and obviously Central will see them in a little bit, one of their main rivals in the MAC. They were one of the slower teams in the NCAA in terms of pace and possession length. Central Michigan, though, is not, and it's funny to see them take the shot clock down to five and well, four. Definitely every not time. a 10. There's another offensive rebound right now. Noah just not being strong around the basket that time. Initially getting his hands on it, but you know Central Michigan is able to take that ball away. 35-29, Detroit Mercy. Waterman with the open catch and a tough one there. Is he See, what I took? He took a pretty hard lick there, but it was no call made. You know, kind of surprising because definitely was some contact on that play. Three goes in and out from Taylor. Under two minutes, Detroit Mercy looking for a separating run. Phillips tees it up. Johnson trying to swoop in. And again, Besaith is there. But Matt's just not giving up. Well, Johnson's doing a great job. Great hustle by Matt Johnson. That wasn't able to come up with it, but he went after that one. Almost gave it back to the Titans. Number three, Henderson, Harrison Henderson, who's been in and out in this first half, checks back in once again. Graduate transfer from Texas Southern. The last stop for Mike Davis before he had to here to Detroit Mercy now in his fourth year. Skipping pass to the outside and Healy hits. Healy for three. Slow start for Healy, but he's made his last two threes. Johnson looking to answer off the inside and Miller is right there. Johnson had a good look at that one, wasn't able to get it down. Barbie wants his team to push. Trying to ride this wave. Picked off by Harvey. He's been good defensively. Here he comes the other way oh. for the touch slam. Getting it done on both ends. Was able to get out in the passing lane, get the steal. And I tell you what, I'm a little concerned uh, with Jermaine Jackson here. With a, I mean, with uh, Antoine Davis with a minute left. Uh, don't want to see him pick up a cheap foul right before the half. 50.8 left exactly here. Central trying to tick down as much time as they can. Antoine stripped that ball. Yeah, that's uh, that's where my concern coming in at right now. I mean, he's right. He got he got away with stripping. That can you know you make a mistake right there and you you know you pick up three, you know with 36 seconds left. You know, I mean I would even I know he want to get that last offense possession out of him, but I might would try to get him out of there and let him come out clean in the second half. Taylor with one to shoot, got it. Dagger basket, 
Detroit Mercy shooting just 39%. Looking to get a basket before the end of the half with the shot clock turned off. Johnson, Isiani, Harvey, and Phillips along with Davis out there. Isiani down low. Got it to go. That's what you have to do inside of his own. I mean, good interior pass. And both got accustomed early in this season to seeing that out of him. So hopefully uh, he catch on here early in the second half. It's Miller, Healy, Harrison, Lopez, and Besaith for CMU. Lopez open, knocks it through. Inside out, he got into the gut of the zone and was able to kick it right back out to Lopez in that corner for a wide open look, and he buried it. He has 12. And the Titans had a little bit more trouble with the basketball as the first half went on. It was a 3 nothing start in terms of total turnovers for Central Michigan in this game. It was 4-3 to three by the end in favor of Detroit Mercy. So CMU doing a better job of taking care of the basketball. Definitely missed some shots near the end of the half. Davis toying with the defense here, and Besaith will swoop in for the board. Needs to look at it that time, in and out of the basket. Healy hot of late. As Besaith crashes in, that's something he does very well, offensively rebounding the ball. Well, Central coming out aggressive, there's no question about that. Lopez burying at three, and right away an offensive rebound. and So they're, they're coming out really aggressive here, like they should here in the second half of this game. The fouls were very unbalanced in that first half. 10 plus to six for Detroit Mercy as the Titans got the single bonus very quickly. And now it's looking like that script might flip if this continues here in the second half. Doing a good job that time attacking the basket. Central's not selling, doing the exact right things against his own defense. The penetration and kickouts and getting the ball inside of the gut of the zone. This right here is the lone returning starter for the Chippewas. He missed the first three games of the season as there's been quite a few CMU players to jockey in and out of the lineup. But still, coming into today, he's their leading rebounder and has led the team in rebounds in five of the seven thus far. Lopez crashes into the Henry Ford logo there behind the basket. He'll have to catch up, but the Titans running. A catch wide open, looking to heat it up. Maybe that does it. Uh, that's a good sign for him right there. He's going to knock that shot. He's really been working to try to develop that shot and get it better. Know he can score inside. He wants to add that three-point range to his game. He has five. Those are his first from the field. He was previously 0 for 4. He has uh, actually eight now, excuse me. Five heading into the half. Healy curls to the elbow, and a catch will rebound. Davis had it poked away. A double kind of developing there. Harvey wide open on the other side of the floor. And mm, Healy thought that should go the other direction. But got to put a little bit more on those passes. They're kind of lazy passes. And Central are getting hands on it and tapping it. And got a little bit, little bit more crisp offensively. The Titans need to become here in the second half. Lopez tied it up. Boy, he was hoping for a jump and or just a no call there. And the CMU bench reacting, hands on their heads, as to say, what do we got to do here? <laughs> the Titans are continuing to try to get that ball into the gut of the defense that time. Twan with some penetration and a nice little drop off to a cat. Johnson receives that. Matt bullying his way to the basket, couldn't get it to go, crashes home, and draws another foul here. I'll tell you, the officials are really letting a lot of physical contact go here all afternoon. But they are being consistent with it, though, so they're letting them play. You see the hard drive that time by Matt Johnson. It was a slap right there right away. He was fouled once, and then on the way to the floor, fouled again. So, you know, able to come away with it. Even Matt's got to be careful there. He got that little elbow going. That's more of an emphasis, especially this year in college basketball. Into a catch for two. Okay. Good out of bounds play that time. A catch straight down the middle. A good pass by Antoine Davis. 
Sometimes it just takes the halftime break to flip the switch. Two for two on field goals here in the second half. Good double by Detroit Mercy, lofted over. Once again for Jermaine Jackson. Lopez against Isiani. Harrison got it. Both teams, similar game plan, getting inside of the gut of the zone defense. Nice little drop off. Well, Harrison Henderson, one of those players that struggled with foul trouble. That was the same in the first half, but they could use a body with like him at 6'11. Another offensive foul, though. Well, illegal screen that time against Detroit. Right. Harvey's trying to trying to get it over, but uh, used his body getting away that time. The officials are right on top of that one. That's the third on Harvey already. A shame for him, given what he's done so far. Seven points, eight rebounds. Only thing that's positive about it, you got a Noah Waterman to replace him. It's not a bad sub to come in for Harvey. Harvey, the only Detroit Mercy player with multiple fouls. Central Michigan with three of those. Henderson has three. Lopez with two and Healy with two. How about that crashing slam by Bissain? Central doing a good side. He sneaks in on the backside of that zone right there. And that's why you have to be talking and paying attention. That's a communication problem right there. He's right behind the defense and the lob was there. Isiani is yet to attempt a three. Bissain will rebound. He's got six of those. Jermaine looked like he was in between maybe passing and shooting. He did take the shot. He's the one hand runner right there that's unsuccessful with that. Mm. Davis heating up. That's when he's dangerous in transition right there. He can stop on a dime and pull up and that time letting it ride. Antoine with 15, five of 11 from the floor, five of eight from three point land. Crashing for Besaith, missed it. Antoine doing just enough to make him miss that shot. The lob for Johnson, too far, and two easy bunnies are missed. And Matt didn't have his steps together on that one. He tried to catch it and lay it in softly, hard off the glass. Blocker charge, it's a block. That was a perfect <laughs> example right there on that play. <laughs> a catch won the call, as he's been pretty good at the free throw line today and continues that stretch there. It's always good to have that as a backup when the shot's not falling, but he's came out a little bit more aggressive and things look a little bit better for him here in the second half of this game. And the Titans overall doing a decent job of shooting the free throws as a team, 78% coming into play here today. They were leading the nation, or at least top 20, most of last year, which was a big story. 49-42 Detroit Mercy. And a kickball. I like, like the confidence of, of Miller. Miller's doing a good job of leading his team as a freshman. Uh, doesn't seem like he's a freshman. He's playing with a lot of confidence. Started all three games at the point guard position when Jermaine was out. And even Jermaine has only started two games for this team, despite being their leading scorer. Antoine showing the handles here and now backs up. Thread the needle pass for a catch. Draws the foul and banks it off the glass and in and one. Uh, that's what we're accustomed to. Him catching it down on that low block, posting up, and he's got those long arms and he can get it. You see, good pass that time by Antoine Davis and the length and the sides. Draw the foul, take the contact, and knocked it down. So. Davis is doing a good job of uh, making sure he gets his teammates involved and moving that ball. Detroit's looking to get those high percentage shots all afternoon. He'll get the ball inside, not selling for the long shots. And that's what the zone wants you to do is take those shots from the outside. But they've been doing a good job of avoiding it and taking the good wide open looks. 14 for our catch now. Make it 15. Eight of nine from the free throw line to go along with five rebounds. This is the largest lead for Detroit Mercy as they continue to look to expand it. Jackson, Healy, Lopez, Hodgson is just checking in. The safe out there right now for Tony Barbie's team. Lopez with two to shoot. Knifes it through. Lopez, Lopez a solid performer. He both inside and out, and he will rebound the basketball as well. Yeah, strong player for sure. 6'4, 200.
A catch bodied up. Still half of the shot clock to go. Johnson having trouble in that corner. Will heave it up for Isiani. Now it's down to four. Davis in. Drew a bump, but no foul. I'll tell you what, did a good job of getting that one real high off the glass. Just a shot he's been working on that floater, but he got that one up there at the top of the square and it failed for him. No call. And all of a sudden, 17 for Antoine Davis. It's usually an easy 20 for him, no matter what. Lopez. And the official on the baseline asked for help there. They say it's still CMU basketball here. They're allowing them to play basketball here this afternoon. I like it. I mean, the contact's there, but they let them play through that. You got to play through that contact. No easy calls. Waterman with his length, making it tough on the inbound. Jackson. In and out. He's had tough luck so far today. Isiani, I think, touched it. He did. Flustered. He couldn't get to the basketball there. And again, it will stay with Central Michigan. That's one they need to come up with. That ball was halfway down and popped out. you got to get that rebound in a situation like that. Kevin McAdoo back into the game for Detroit Mercy here. Central 4 of 10 from the field in the early goings in the second half. Detroit Mercy 5 of 8. They've almost mirrored each other in the mid 40s on the game in terms of field goal percentage. Another foul off the ball, the screen by Hodgson there. Detroit able to come up with the basketball. Dodge one that time. Not giving them that second opportunity. Offensive foul turns the ball back over to Detroit. Miller is in. Short spurt on the bench. 2-3 zone is in effect right here for Central Michigan. That kind of flustered Detroit Mercy at times in the first half. Davis from deep range picks in and out. Besaith again there for the board as they push. High catch. Got tips and over and back there. Can't really judge how long those arms are. He got to the passing lane, almost got away with one that time. That's McAdoo who will pick up foul number four already here in the second half. Central Michigan has five. And McAdoo having a tough time this afternoon. Uh, foul trouble, not a lot of minutes out on the court, but the fouls have plagued him all afternoon. So they'll stack here. Looking for an inbounder, though. It's Healy who steps up. Healy, the native of Sydney, Australia, the graduate transfer of the University of Albany. Miller trying to pound it home. Lost the handle at the last second. And now only four to shoot. Kevin has it back, challenges Davis. Wow, pretty off the glass and in. Oh, great play, and then Detroit turns the ball back over, give it right back in their hands after a great offensive play by Miller that time. And they get an opportunity for another bucket here. 54-47 at the moment. Phillips trying to strip the basketball there and draws a foul, does Kevin Miller. We talked about Miller's confidence earlier. Definitely looks above the freshman level. Well, he bailed him out. I mean, it's four seconds on the clock. He made a strong move and a sweeping shot to the basket. And then they turn around and get the inbound pass back. And that, that really hurt the Titans here. Healy wide open. Can't do that as he nails it. Talking five points off of that one play. Layup and then a the three-point shot. Knock it in. That was a big possession for Central Michigan that time. A 10-point lead just a couple minutes ago in game action has quickly been erased. Four is now the deficit here for Central Michigan. Phillips, Shorts, and Healy is there for the board. Phillips hasn't been able to find the range here this afternoon. Besaith swimming down low. A seven-game homestand. This is game two. That's their most since the late 80s in a row in terms of home games. So pick your poison. <laughs> <laughs>
all road, yeah. then a bunch of home, and then a decent amount of road in conference later as Harvey back out there with his three fouls misses. So we we'll get a second chance here. Flat shot that time by Harvey. He had no air in that one. McAdoo still with half of the shot clock to go. DJ Spinorama. Now down to four. Titans seem to be flustered a little bit by the zone. McAdoo scoops oh. and scores. Yeah, that's a wrong hand, wrong foot. <laughs> He's able to get that one to go, though. He flipped that one up and in the basket. His first points of the afternoon. Miller attacks, sent it short. Isiani battling in the middle of the key there. Uh, caught Isiani with a arm across the chest. That's <laughs> 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 Pretty easy one for the officials. You can see right right in front of the official. He's tried to hold him off. Isiani, Harvey, Davis, and Phillips out there right now, along with McAdoo. Besaith got blocked by Phillips, but a foul. Oh, that had to be all with the body that time. Phillips going up top, doing a good job of blocking that shot, but a lot of body contact. Phillips trying to get loose in his first game for Detroit Mercy. Chance to watch him some in practice, and uh, he's definitely have, has a skill set. Nice body size, nice body type right now, and uh, got this thing got a good, little bit more aggressive, a little bit more in tune to what's going on. First game's always a nervous one. Hopefully he can shake it, and he's getting plenty of time to get himself acclimated here this afternoon. Yeah, very much so a shooter as well, which he hasn't been able to show all too much so far today, but. Here's the full court pressure as they go into a 2-2-1 press. Ooh, from the blind side, there's Besaith again. Mm -hmm. Chopped out of bounds by Phillips. Well, they're coming hard. You know, Central's come at you aggressively, and you got to be able right here, you can see him attacking the basket. And able to knock it out of bounds and that's the second half of that play we didn't see the contact at the beginning of that play that caused them the Titans to turn it over this is a gritty player though that's a nice job out there there he is again sends it short Harvey got it back oh he's aggressive he comes at you hard he's got one speed that's fast what speed did you have Davis for three, got it! Fast. 59-52. That's the Titans equalizer right there, Davis, as he knocked down a timely jumper that the Titans needed. Too hot to handle. Can they keep it in? Not quite. Johnson there and picked off again. Miller off to Besaith, wide open. Nothing pretty happening for either of these two teams right now. Besaith down the avenue and a foul on Isiani possibly again. Tell you what, that was pretty sloppy play right there by both teams. <laughs> a lot of turnovers and uh, you know, it was hard to keep up with the turnovers that was happening in that possession. Isiani with his seconds. McAdoo in the game has two. Harvey with three. Davis with two. The foul is starting to pile up on Detroit Mercy as they have a team eight here in the second half as the first won't go for Besaith. Titans have, Titans have had their op opportunities here this afternoon, but some kind of way they always find a way to give back those opportune moments, moments that they have here. Second one will fall. Lopez back in for Besaith here. 22 hard work minutes for number one today for CMU. They're doing a good job out there. I'm sure they're going to get him some rest but down the stretch. Noah Waterman back into the game as well. Six points. A couple rebounds, a couple steals for Noah. This hasn't caught a break. Got sick. This week, missed a day of practice. Hasn't been able to practice really a whole lot in a row, given the injury and the team on that long road trip. Looking to make his third three long. Johnson got a piece, but couldn't handle it on the right baseline. Yeah, he's had some tough luck. There's no question about that. A concussion you know, early in the season, and 
you know, took him out of playing time. He missed a lot of time, not able to practice or do anything, and just haven't been able to get his time to be able to catch on. Jackson and Harvey could not stay in play. And if the Titans are going to be successful, they're definitely going to need Noah. I uh, need some quality minutes out of him. So hopefully, uh, you know, this, this time off and the practice time can get him back on pace. Lopez holding it low and somehow through the double team gets it off to glancing in. Well, that was just to show a Lopez strength that time. You know, he got real low with the basketball. He held on to it. And Detroit is just, uh, you know, one mistake after another right here. And I know Coach Davis can. Lead has been 10. Everything being challenged, though, in the last two, three minutes of game action. Well, I'll tell you, the momentum is definitely in Central Michigan's favor right now because of the aggressive defense they're playing. And Detroit, a little lax today, though, taking the ball out of bounds and throwing it right back to him. And, and tough shots. Lopez with the tough shot underneath the basket led to a turnover. So it's a lot of things that uh, that's happening that's keeping Central right on top of this game. One and one for Lopez, missed the front end. That's the 19th foul on Detroit Mercy, six on the Chippewas. That's been flipped a little bit here in the second half. Two early ones committed by Detroit Mercy. They have a catch, Davis, Johnson, McAdoo, and Harvey out there. 2-3 the zone is, uh, is spread it out. McAdoo, tough luck on this side of the rim, and a catch cleans it up. That's doing a good job. That was a good offensive rebound. And unfortunately for McAdoo, that ball went halfway down and popped out. And a catch all of a sudden has 17, 8 of 9 from the free throw line here today as well. Miller had it blocked by Harvey. And loose ball picked up by Detroit Mercy. A catch. I thought he was fouled. No call. Davis steps to the three-point line. Johnson Man. with the offensive I'll board of the what, bucket. Matt Johnson is all over the place. Uh, you know, uh, you, you got to give him credit for everything that happened in that play right there. The, the rebound, getting the offensive rebounds, the good passes. and uh, He's he done a lot in that one possession. Wow, what a swing this could potentially be if Detroit Mercy can hold on and extend this lead further here. Let's see, Coach Davis is uh, giving Matt Johnson the air for. He should get a pat on the back for that effort that he just gave. Can't get the and one to fall. Titans eight for 11 from the free throw line. Central Michigan five for 11. Jackson out to Healy. Big one there. Keeps him in the game. They continue to hang around here with eight minutes to go. Along with all the turnovers and the inbounding that we've had to see. And both teams are pretty much up and down teams and free throw shooting have slowed both teams down. Henderson, who's again struggled with foul trouble, just 14 minutes here today, has picked up four fouls. Only player on either side with four is back in. So it's Besaith, Healy, Miller, Jackson, and Henderson out there. Jackson stuck on just three points. He's one of ten from the field. Struggled from three thus far. And a bump there by Johnson. Will be his third, team 10th. So two at the line going forward here. Back at the free throw line again. <laughs> Both teams are getting their share of free shots. Turnovers are plenty in the second half as well. We're tied at 10 apiece. They're rebounding nearly dead even. 33 32, Detroit Mercy. And what do we have here? I think there was a discrepancy in whether it was two shots or one shot. Will they count that one, though? Yeah. I'm not sure they will. Yeah, it seemed like the whistle blew right in the middle of him taking that free throw. It was kind of <laughs> kind of strange moment there. <laughs> the answer is it did not count, I guess. No, so. Will the Isiani back in here? 
four points, a couple rebounds for him. Harrison sinks all three. <laughs> Even though two count. Yeah, he could He was consistent with him. He didn't let the distractions bother him. <laughs> That's all you can ask for. Yeah, he was locked in. Even when they blew the whistle, he continued with his follow through. Detroit native Brian Taylor back in here. That full court press nearly wreaking havoc on the Titans. Johnson will let things slow down. So he's got to be stronger with the basketball. A dangerous pass that time, too. Davis open. Jackson close that off. A catch bumps and draws another foul. Well, Kent's doing a good job as soon as he felt the contact, getting that ball up in the air. Uh, he's able to get two shots off of that. That's the ninth foul he's drawn already. And the free throw competition continues. Winner gets a little holiday uh, cookie or something. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Henderson comes in for Taylor. They've kind of been flipping on and off, offense to defense. As I catch, nails bull. Well, he's been consistent. It's a good thing. It pays off to knock those free throws down. Henderson one way, then the other. Ooh, not much there, but Johnson the foul. It's a tough, tough matchup with Johnson that time. It's 6'10", and uh, giving up a lot of sides to the big man. Henderson took his, took his time on the post up down there, turn around, just a little jump hook right over the top of Matt. Matt doing everything he could, but committed to foul. The Chippewas with 10. On the other side, 10 plus now at this point, so it'll be two shooting two the rest of the way. On them, nine, so the Titans one foul away from the double bonus. Lopez is back in. And turn Taylor. <laughs> We'll check back in for Henderson. We'll keep doing that as long as the dead balls keep happening. They continue with the pressure. Tight's doing a good job of breaking it that time. I catch. Wow, the Red Sea parted at the last moment. A great Euro step that time. Step right around and use that Euro step to a perfection to get to the basket to lay it in. He has 21. Lopez teeing one up. What a huge three that is to keep a minute. Titans got to realize, you know, where the three point shooters are and against Western. They did a great job of finding those guys, but now leaving a guy like Lopez open in the corners, it's almost automatic. Lopez four for four from three point land, eight of 10 from the field. He's made some big time plays here today again. The junior, the transfer from DePaul. Five to shoot, a catch, killer pump fake. Now two to shoot. Johnson's got to get it up in time, but off the inside. Good ball movement. Johnson had to take that shot with the clock running down. Almost was able to knock it down. Healy now pumps, fires, and misses. Here's Davis with the board. His third of the game. 20 for Antoine so far, including six made threes. He's been pretty quiet. Still looking to get teammates involved. We know he can strike at any time. Feeds Harvey. Off the back. And I catch somehow ends up with it, leaves it in oh, for man. two. I tell you, those long arms and stretching out. He was able to get the rebound and reach back up and put it in. Grams reaching the Sweet 16. 23 Horizon League players have been drafted to the NBA, including current New Orleans Pelican and head coach Willie Green. To learn more, visit horizonleague.com or by searching hashtag HLMBB on social media. 71 65 Detroit Mercy. Wide open splash. Well, he knew sooner or later he's going to get his. Well, there's no question about it. He can shoot that ball from the outside. And that 
redirected Tony Barbie saying ask for help. Official on the far side called it now the man on the near side coming together and they might just switch this up. Well he's a long ways away from that possession so now they point the other way. That's kind of amazing you know you'd be right on top of the ball but the official the farthest away was able to see <laughs> see what happened. <laughs> That's uh well I guess he had a better angle on it. He was able to change that call. 71 68 the lead by Detroit Mercy has been hanging on a thread it seems this whole second half despite a couple 10 point leads. And another offensive foul. Central not taking advantage of it. It come right back well with the offensive foul. That's the fifth on Henderson. And do we have a timeout here or what do we have here? Well, you have the five, the fifth foul, so I guess you get a, a little bit more time. time so they're using yeah. it as a timeout. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little, I see the Titans on the floor and I see, uh, <laughs> you know, them in a the huddle talking to their coach. <laughs> so now both teams with 10 player control is. Free throws coming up. Two of them. The next one for the Chippewas. McAdoo from behind picked his pocket. It's been a dangerous pass, you know. Yeah. Lopez burying through. Couldn't get that hanging one off the top of the iron. Isiani hugging that like Christmas presents. <laughs> Wanting to hang on to what is an important rebound. And in the end, he draws a slap foul. I got and McAdoo and the cast talking about the pass right there and I think that's the wrong guy to have in the middle to catch the basketball you got to get a bigger body up there uh, to catch that pass in the press. So they're discussing it and hopefully they'll get that right because the pressure will continue. Second time to the free throw line for Isiani had a one and one chance earlier. Well, he, these are the things that Willie can do. You know, Willie can make free throws, and you know, also there's a big rebound for him down there that time. And uh, you know, it's like th those things are important. That's what help you win basketball games. 73-68. Healy. Big miss. Harvey picks it up. And CMU maybe avoided a foul there. Davis pings that one through. Timely shot. Came a long ways with that, that runner getting to the basket. I can remember back in his first year struggling with that shot. Now, now it's perfected. He has 22. Besaith wide open. Has struggled from that range today. So that's not the shot, uh, not the guy they want taking that shot right now. Antoine makes both free throws. He has 24. I tell you, free throw shooting is crucial uh, tonight because these guys are getting a lot of opportunities to get free shots at the line. The Titans have done a good job of burying theirs. Miller. Titans got to be aware of these three point shooters now, and you see they're in a straight man to man. Harvey and Davis were in the area. Antoine got it. Now Besaith holding his back. Yeah, they got a four on five this time down. Harvey steps to the elbow. Yeah, Harvey had plenty of time to bury them. He took the two steps in, probably could have got a little closer. Davis racing in there, making it tough for Healy to catch that three. Davis doing a good job of going after that. Not only showing his skills on the defensive end of the floor, ran that one down. 77 68. It's good being a man to man right now and paying attention to these three point shooters because Central can knock that ball down. They got a lot of three point shooters in the game. Jackson, certainly one of them. Draws a foul on Harvey that time. 
Harvey with his fourth. Titans have been over the limit for a while. Harvey's been solid in terms of uh, rebounding and some good defensive plays, giving him some quality minutes, and you can kind of see him just getting more and more comfortable with each game that the Titans play. Yeah, he has a new career high in rebounding today. It was previously nine. He's pushed it to 12. His fifth, or uh, his first double double, I beg your pardon, this year. Yeah, it's Jermaine Jackson knocking that one down. His father spent a lot of time as the coach uh, working with Mellow Ball and doing a good job with him. And obviously, he's done a good job of uh, training his son and getting him prepared for these years he's had in college. His father sitting right at midcourt in the first row here today. Facing this full court pressure, a catch does a nice job of working out of it. Central Michigan looking to make one last run here at the Titans. Harvey trying to put a bow on this one as he buries it. Timely pass, good ball movement, good patience that time by the Titans. And now they have to get back and play some solid defense. Cats doing a good job of getting a hand on that basketball. It remains with Central Michigan. Hey, you respect his second half given, you know, what he did from the field, struggled mightily over four in that first half, was making his money in the free throw line, but he has 23 and nine, two assists, two steals. Looking for double double number five. Turned it into a solid game. He's been consistent pretty much throughout this whole season and uh Struggled a little bit in the first half, but he found his way, and that's you know that's all due to hard work. He puts it in every single day, averaging 15 a game. Pretty good offensive rebounder for this Detroit Mercy team as well. Lopez off for Jackson again. Lopez for three. Kept him in this game in a lot of ways, but couldn't make that. Catching a break on that one because he was open for that wide open shot, and he's definitely a good three point shooter. Trey Mercy can afford to kill some clock here. Jordan Phillips in his first game as a Detroit Mercy Titan here today hands that back off to our catch. Out there with Harvey Davis and McAdoo. Seven seconds left on the shot clock again. Detroit Mercy heading back to the free throw line where they're 16 of 19 today. We have to continue to keep playing this game. A five point lead is not safe against a Central Michigan team that's got great three point shooters that can knock down a three ball. So we have to capitalize at the free throw line. Does not there. That's, that's the jinx I put on him. <laughs> it happens every time. Well, he doesn't often miss those. Just two misses from the line coming into today. And it'll stay that way as he makes his second. Defense is a key factor right here for the Titans. Know where those shooters are. Jackson guarded by Harvey here. And Davis got in front of Healy and it caused a turnover. Davis got his hand out of there just in time. Oh, almost got some fingers on that. Miller right in front of Antoine there. A little thread, a little skip pass to Harvey. He's wrapped and fouled. See him using the window close as this game goes on. I'll tell you, they stepped into Callahan Hall with a lot of energy and enthusiasm at the beginning of the game, and they Gave the Titans a ride here this afternoon. Seven of their first 11 have been on the road and it will continue that way. Their first two MAC conference games will be at Kent State and at Miami of Ohio. Well, they'll get a chance to see if it pays off once the MAC starts and they'll have the opportunities. They play some tough teams. It won't be nothing in the MAC they haven't already seen. Healy three ball, got it. Full court pressure right here. Man to man pressure. They got to be strong with the basketball. Double teams right there. Ooh. 
just got it to Phillips, drives to the 10, slammed it home. How about your first points of the Titan? Well, he, he had his mind made up. Uh, you know, that time he said, I'm struggling the whole night. I'm going to make sure I put this one down. He's going to the hole with authority and threw that down with two hands. And that's a way to get yourself into Titan history. Here you, you can see the long pass down the court. A lot of air in that one. He catches it, mine's made up. Strong to the basket, took the hit and threw it down. Wasn't able to complete that three point play. Healy quick three. The time sputtering down, just 37 seconds now. Davis off for a catch for good measure. Two more. 25 for Davis and I catch here today. An easy lay in there for Miller. He was good in spurts today. And Phillips will run down the lane for two more. Get, got his feet wet, got a chance to get out there and get some playing time in. I'm sure with the practices going on, he's it's gonna be prime time next game. Snowballing on Central Michigan here at the end of this one. So the final score maybe not indicative as how close this game was until the final minutes. Lopez is out. He looked a little banged up like he had tweaked something. We'll take a look on the bench. The Titans will likely just dribble out this time. Titans doing a good job of winning four out of their last five games. And that's just a way to end your non-conference.